Uh, Colin, uh, congratulations on the victory. How did you see that one play out? You know, I, I thought our guys played hard. Uh, we felt like we had momentum, and then, you know, anytime you give one up in the last minute or two in periods, it's usually not good. Uh, but they responded really well. Uh, I thought our forecheck was good. Our retrievals uh, had some really good moments, and then there's some teachable moments. Uh, power play, penalty kill, uh, we won that battle. We're thankful for that. Uh, that overall, it was a good, it was a good team effort. They were coming back at the bench. They were breathing heavy, and when you when you see that, uh, he knows that they're they're giving what they have. A lot of eyes were on the Oilers' most recent second round pick, Bo Aiki. What did you think of his performance and his offensive instincts? You know, uh, when Mac was talking to him on the bench, or if I came down to, to give my two cents, he seemed mature beyond his years. It's, yes, it's our first look as a you know American League staff, but uh, he moved the puck well. Uh, he made some good plays offensively. He took some hits. Uh, he wasn't afraid. He had a little bit of bite to him. Uh, it's, it's one game, but it's always nice to uh, make a good first impression. For a player like Jake Sloan, he's obviously here on an invite, uh, but it's an opportunity for uh, players like him and many others on this team to maybe impress some NHL and, and other scouts in the building. Is that what this tournament's all about? Yeah, you know that was something we talked about uh, when we when we we got him on day one uh, as far as uh, practice day, and we said, hey, there's there's eyes on you and there's important eyes on you, and uh, that's an opportunity uh, uh, to do good things, and uh, you know we we saw that uh, today from Sloan, uh, we saw him get into the paint, and that's something that we talked about in, in the first intermission that we need to get to the paint, and that's where goals are scored consistently at the pro level. You hear uh, Jay Staff talk about it all the time, so. Uh, you know, it was nice to see the first one, nice play by Aki, and by him being in the paint, and he was rewarded more than once. You mentioned, you know, going down late in the first period, after a period that you really did dominate and control. What is it that you say during that intermission to remind them that they do still have control and they can bounce back? You know, we, uh, as coaches, you're always, you're fixing, right, and you're, you're, you're looking for solutions, and uh, I, I think what, what we try to do for a good part of the time is celebrate the good things that, that we did. So we, we talked about that. Uh, but at the same time, um, the message was the hockey gods sometimes get in the way. And, and when you're doing the right things, which we did, uh, we have a chance. And unfortunately, we come in being down one. But one thing we do know is that when you don't do the right things and you don't play together, you're not connected, all those sorts of things you have much less of a chance. So uh, that was the, the, the big part of the message, and they, they came out, uh, they reset what was in the past. We have to move forward, good or bad. And uh, they came out, and we went to the penalty box a little more than we would have liked to, but the penalty kill was good, and we were able to come into the uh, after two with the lead. What are you most proud of how this team showed up for the first game of this tournament? I'm most proud of how connected they were on the forecheck, one, and on the retrievals, uh, too. So uh, there were some really good things based on uh, when we watched uh, practice on day one. Everything was really good until we started talking about our, our, our new retrievals, and they froze. So I think to be able to uh, go from experience this morning again and give them a few more touches and then go into it live in the game and to have some uh, teachable moments but have some successful moments, uh, I think that uh, we were most proud of that as a staff today. For someone like Jake Sloan who comes in as a camp invitee, scores two goals in the first game, then Bo Wakey, first time wearing the Oilers uniform, he records a goal and an assist as well. How much do you let them kind of absorb that joy and almost that realization, you know, dreams coming true essentially, but also there's still a game to play and there's still a lot to prove? I, 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 I believe uh, that good or bad, we have to uh, be in the moment, uh, reflect on what you did poorly and what you did well, enjoy that. But uh, the reality is, is that um, everybody forgets what you did yesterday and before and, that, and last year and that kind of stuff. They want, they want now, and uh, it doesn't mean that you don't, you don't uh, soak it in tonight as much as you can. But tomorrow's a new day, right? And if it had been a four or five one loss, we would respond the same way. So tomorrow's a new day. Our focus is uh, some of the new things that we've talked about, and we'll add some small pieces uh, uh, each day here. We'll get some fresh bodies in tomorrow, and uh, we'll, we'll start a clean slate again the next day.